You could trace the current escalation of violence to 2007, when Israel imposed a land, sea, and air blockade on the Gaza Strip after Hamas won a free and fair democratic elections in the occupied Palestinian territories. And that air, land, and sea blockade was deemed to be illegal under international law in 2010 by the United Nations because it imposes collective punishment on the people of Gaza. It was also deemed illegal because the, the goal of the blockade was to punish the people of Gaza for having elected Hamas, a, a militant and organization based out of the Gaza Strip. And since 2007, uh, in addition to the blockade, which has led to 50% unemployment rate, which has led 80% of Gazans uh, to be dependent on food handouts, which has led 90% of people to lack access to fresh drinking water. So in addition to that, it has also led to an electricity crisis, a sewage crisis, it has led to an economic crisis, and it has led to a public health crisis and a mental health crisis. In addition to all of those crises, Israel has waged five wars on the Gaza Strip in which it killed something like 4,000 Palestinians. Over the course of those same five wars, Hamas and other Palestinian militant organizations in the Gaza Strip killed something like 150 Israeli civilians. Over the course of those five wars, Israel, um, at first in 2008, uh, killed more than 1,500 Palestinian civilians in Gaza in a campaign of indiscriminate bombing. Again in 2012, it killed over 100 Palestinians, again in campaigns of indiscriminate bombing. In 2014, again, it killed thousands of Palestinians, the overwhelming majority of whom were civilians, in campaigns of indiscriminate uh, bombings in civilian areas, in residential neighborhoods. Again, in 2018 and 19, tens of thousands of Gazans marched to the wall, to the fence, um, protesting against Israel's siege on Gaza and protesting uh, um, against Israel's policies towards the Gaza Strip, demanding the right of return. Um, Israel, in response to those primarily peaceful uh, marchers and protesters, slaughtered 256 Palestinians over the course of a year and a half. In one day alone, on May 14th, 2018, Israel slaughtered 60 Palestinian unarmed protesters uh, for having committed the crime of protesting the siege on Gaza. Okay? In 2021, Israel waged another aerial bombing campaign against Gaza, killing another a 250 something Palestinian Palestinians in the Gaza Strip and so to understand why uh, Hamas committed these gruesome acts of violence against Israeli civilians you have to understand the 16 year blockade and siege on Gaza you have to understand Israel's treatment its treatment of the Palestinians as subhuman and when you treat 2.3 million people as subhuman for 16 years guess what they commit subhuman acts. In previous wars, if you look at the attacks committed against Palestinian civilians in the Gaza Strip, they tended to be more targeted. You'd have a single home, a single building demolished, um, but the surrounding buildings and the surrounding homes would remain intact. There was at least some attempt, some attempt to um, <clears throat> to distinguish between military and civilian targets. Of course, Israel knows that in most cases when it drops bombs on residential neighborhoods, it was nevertheless killing civilians, but at least there was some attempt to, to, to differentiate between civilian and military targets. Um, uh, an, an attempt, of course, that fell far short of Israel's obligations uh, um, under the laws of war. However, however, in uh, beginning in uh, t October of 2023, um, there, there, has no, there was no attempt to, to, to distinguish between civilian and military uh, targets. If you look at the drone footage coming out of Gaza over the past few days, Israel has leveled entire neighborhoods, in, 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 in entire uh, streets, entire blocks, completely leveled to the ground. This was, of course, Israel's stated goal. Um, is, is Israeli Defense Minister Galan said himself, the goal is to wage war on the people of Gaza, to cut off food, to cut off electricity, to cut off water. Um, the goal was to punish the people of Gaza, was to cause as much damage and as much destruction as possible. This is something um, that is new. In previous wars, Israel 
um, claimed that th they were attempting to target military targets. Um, now Israel's claim is that we're attempting to uh, level Gaza, to uh, destroy as many things and as many people and as many buildings and as many heroes in Gaza as possible, to commit an act of revenge. So that is fundamentally new. Um, now, the other, uh, in, in addition to that, um, this is the first time we've ever seen Hamas infiltrate inside Israel. In previous wars, um, Hamas fired rockets. Um, Hamas maybe breached the security barrier and managed in one case to kidnap one Israeli soldier, Gilad Shalit. Um, but, but for the most part, Hamas never managed to breach the, the Gaza wall. All. Two million Palestinians inside Gaza. Um, in, 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 on October 7th, in the early hours of the morning, Hamas breached the fence. And for a period of many hours, hundreds, potentially thousands of Hamas militants streamed into Israel on motorcycles and, and cars, went into Israeli homes, slaughtering people indiscriminately. That is something fundamentally new. We've never seen that before. In addition, we, we see now, uh, just uh, yesterday, uh, Hezbollah has joined uh, the war and, and has fired many dozens, if not hundreds, of rockets into northern Israel. So this is a two-front war. We haven't seen that in, in recent memory. Um, we, we, we now expect that Syria and potentially Iran might enter the fray, as Israel has just, just this morning uh, bombed airports in, in Damascus. Um, we also... Um, th this is also, I think, a complete shock and an utter shock to Israelis for whom um, high death tolls and, and high civilian casualties are a norm on the Palestinian side, but not on the Israeli side. In every single war, Israel um, kills sometimes 10 times as many Palestinian civilians, uh, sometimes 100 times as many Palestinian civilians as Palestine, uh, Palestinians are, uh, uh, kill Israeli civilians. And so for the first time, we're seeing much more parity in the civilian death tolls. And that is a total shock to Israel and the rest of the world, who are used to seeing Palestinians dying in mass, who are used to seeing, if not used to seeing Israeli civilians dying in mass. And so for the first time, they're shocked. They're shocked because they're, they're, not, they're not familiar with that level of a tragedy on the Israeli side. This is also unprecedented security failure on the Israeli uh, uh, on the part of, of the Israeli government. Um, this came as a total shock and surprise to Israel. There was no warning. There was no, uh, there, there's some rumors that I Israel may have been warned by Egypt and ignored those warnings. Um, but basically, this came as a surprise. And that is a fundamentally new development as well. Um, and, and, and part, uh, you know, Israel was just distracted um it's it's distracted in the west bank its focus its its focus has been in the west bank over the course of the past year on, on taking over more land in the west bank more um uh, you know expansion in the settlement enterprise more israeli only apartheid roads more occupation infrastructure more confiscation of palestinian land more destruction of palestinian homes uh, more ethnic cleansing in the jordan valley and in the e1 zone and the south hebron hills israel has been distracted in the west bank and so for that reason, um, and also because Israel is pursuing a normalization plan with Saudi Arabia, um, th the perception has been that uh, among many Palestinians that they have been completely forgotten. And I, I believe I would say that this is one way Hamas has tried to signal to the world in the most gruesome possible way. Don't, don't forget us. Palestinians air, land, and sea blockade by both Egypt and Israel. Egypt controls six of the major seven land crossings. Egypt controls the seventh and uh, is complicit with, with Israel in closing it and shutting it off. In fact, uh, the Israeli uh, Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu stated uh, just the other day, um, he warned uh, Gazans, leave now. Where are they supposed to leave to? You had uh, a stream of Palestinians trying to exit through the Rafah crossing into Egypt. And guess what happened? Uh, Israel bombed the Rafah crossing after having told Palestinians to leave Gaza. Those trying to leave are bombed. Uh, uh, those trying to leave Rafah um, are bombed. Uh, those trying to leave by the sea will be gunned down uh, by Israeli um, uh, ships. Those trying to leave and come to the fence and the Eretz crossing or any of the other crossings will be shot down and uh, trying to leave. There is nowhere to go. Israel has imposed a complete 
total blockade and siege on the Gaza Strip, air blockade, sea blockade, and land blockade. There is nowhere for Palestinians to go. 